Mr. Fleming, how does an author tackle the problem of selecting a name for the hero of his story? When I started to write these books in 1952, I wanted a really flat, quiet name. And one of my Bibles out here is James Bond's Birds of the West Indies, which is a very famous uh, ornithological book indeed. And I thought, well, now, James Bond, now, that's a pretty quiet name. And so I simply stole it and used it. You say the book was one of your Bibles. Uh, did you know the author? Or no, I never met book? the author in my life. And um, I knew nothing about him at all, except that I used the book to identify the birds of Jamaica. He just admitted that he took it, just lifted it, stole it. I know that no Englishman would take another Englishman's name like that, but he thought he could get away with it with an American. Uh, what has all the publicity meant to your husband's peace of mind? Well, I think it disturbed his peace of mind when things began to accumulate a little. People, these youngsters, call up late at night and ask for my husband, his James Sayer, his conspiratorial voice. I think Jim was a shy man, who was very focused in his scientific interest. He didn't like any kind of recognition, and he certainly didn't like O or so. No. He used to express that to me over and over again. Thank you.